Happy Sunday, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Spiritually Fly Sunday, The Word, and today we are talking about chakra energy. So I want to start this out by saying the energetics of the chakras. If you are familiar with them, you kind of know that they are these energetic power centers that flow through the entire body and impact everything about who we are, what we do, how we think, how we feel, how we respond, how we interact and engage, how we treat ourselves. I mean, literally, the chakra energy system is extremely complex, um, extremely diverse and complicated sometimes. However, there are some very simple aspects, meaning there are very simple ways to tap into that ener those energy centers, but also support who you are and what you do and how you move and navigate this crazy, insane world. Now, in my book, because of course, this is Spiritually Fly, right? Um, and all of the topics are coming from my book when I do these Sunday sessions. In the introduction, not even the first chapter, in the introduction, I kind of outline different structures and methods and techniques on how I will move through the book in terms of the tools and techniques that I will use. I talk about, I think on one Sunday session, I talked about the three M's, mantra, mudras, and meditations, because those are threaded throughout the book. The other aspect and element that is threaded throughout the book are the chakras. And the chakras, are literally I mean I, like I don't even know how to stress this for those of you that have taken my classes you know the chakras are everything they are the foundation of everything I teach from the meditations I teach to the breath work I teach to everything I'm gonna pause for a second because I actually want to turn my AC unit off sometimes it gets kind of loud let's see let me find the app If it decides to work today let's see okay hopefully to turn off okay so let's jump right in I'm going to do a read from my book I am on page 10 because again like I said this is from the introduction and I am NOT going to go into all of the major details of the chakras I just want to kind of touch on a couple of elements of them but I do want to read this the first two paragraphs from my book that relate to the chakras so that you kind of understand where I am coming from in terms of the importance of how they work and how they serve us all right chakras wheels of spiritual healing Throughout my book, I will discuss and reference the chakra system. The work I do as an instructor and the approach I take with my own spiritual growth, growth is based on the energies of the chakras. Often described as wheels or disc, chakras are dynamic energy centers aligned along the spine of all humans that directly connect to everything we are and desire to be. Originally discussed in the sacred temples of Egypt. I want you to hear this. Just listen. I'm going to repeat this one more time. Originally discussed, and when I say discussed, originating in the temples of Egypt. It is believed that the flowing waters of the Nile River represent the backbone of the human body and the temples were intentionally placed along the river to align with the chakras. This is way, 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 way. Can I say that one more time? I think I am. Way, 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 way before they appeared anywhere else, boom, on the planet. Basically, the ancient Egyptians' Kemetic culture were aligned, were connecting, were breathing, were tapped into and tuned in, plugged in. And the temples 
that are laid across the River Nile represent the backbone of the human body and they align perfectly with the Nile and the chakras. Oh my God, I just, it's just like so amazing. All right, let me continue because I get really excited about it when I talk about this. In addition, many of the Egyptian deities are connected to these wheels of healing. And then I also go on because I like to reference a lot of things. The chakras also appear in the teachings of yogic texts called the Vedas, which is typically how the chakras are presented. I mean, even when I did my 200 hour teacher training, that's what was presented. But I think it's extremely important for us to acknowledge that the chakras were utilized, were referenced, were served as tools of healing way before that point. All right. The beautiful aspect is that within each culture, the chakras are the same. So that is the fascinating piece is that if you look across various ancient cultures, you will see the energy centers of the chakras represented and those energy centers represent the same. The chakras are the same physically, emotionally, and spiritually. This brief summary of the system provides the following for each of the seven main chakras. The it's in the Sanskrit name, so I'm using the Sanskrit name in my book. The position it occupies in the body. I also list the Egyptian deity that the chakras are connected to. The sound current, the color, the element, and qualities associated with each, each one. And inside my book, I provide an affirmation attached to the chakras. All right, so I think um, the best one, you know, the one that we're going to do today is the Manipura. I love the Manipura chakra. Um, because Manipura chakra is a lot of heat and fire and stuff. And, you know, it's, it's cold out there. I mean, it's winter time, and sometimes we get a little sluggish. I know finally Venus and, and Mercury are coming out of retrograde, and we kind of want to go direct too. So the Manipura will help us kind of find a little mm, to go direct. So I'm going to read a little bit, or I'm going to read what is in my book around the Manipura, which is the solar plexus, which is the fire center, is it's right above your navel center. All right, so let me read this. Manipura, solar plexus, powered by the purification qualities of the goddess Sekhmet. The third chakra is located at the bottom of the rib cage and above the navel, and it is the place of self-confidence and self-esteem. Blazing the sound of Ram, R-A-M, its color is yellow and its element of fire. The affirmation, I am a powerful being. So we have the Manipura chakra, it is um, the goddess is Sekhmet, right? And it's located in your solar plexus area. So it's above the navel. So I just want you to place your hand right in that space for, for a moment. And then close your eyes and just take a couple of long, deep breaths in and out of your nose. You feel the belly and the chest expand a little bit as you breathe in and out. And then just kind of repeat that mantra to yourself. I am a powerful being. I am a powerful being. So say that a few times to yourself. I am a powerful being. I am a powerful being. One more time. I am a powerful being. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, empty out. We're gonna do a little breath work to support the Manipura Chakra, right? The third chakra, right at your solar plexus. And we are going to do breath of fire. So it's a powerful inhale, a powerful exhale out of your nose. And it really 
helps to purify. I remember when I was reading, I talked about the purification quality of the Manipura. But it's more than just purifying the physical body. It is also purifying the mind. Right? Because we all, in order for us to have that confidence to, to move forward and be powerful and step into our fullness, we also have to purify those negative thoughts that are pulsating through our minds, telling us that we're not good enough, that we're not powerful, not creative, that we cannot, right? Those negative thought patterns. So I want you to think about that as you do this breath of fire. So it's powerful inhale, powerful exhale out of your nose. Eyes opened or closed, it's up to you. And let's begin. So you're feeling your navel pump. Now the caveat is if you are pregnant on the first day of your moon cycle, just take long, deep breaths. If not, keep pumping. Breathe in, hold your breath just for a few seconds. Exhale out of your mouth. Keeping your hands right at your solar plexus, your Manipura Chakra. I'm just kind of feeling here. Feeling that fierceness of segment. Yeah. Take one more breath. And empty out. And then allow your hands to fall to your legs. Just rest them there for a few seconds as you breathe in and out. And I'm going to share one more thing that we're going to do. So in the description, I said that there is a mantra associated with the sound current. The sound current is Ram, R-A-M, Ram. So your tongue kind of rolls across the top of your, your lips or the top of your mouth. And it's really interesting it's because I really haven't taught mantras on my live stream when your tongue hits the roof of your mouth well all through your mouth there are energy centers and points kind of like those what they're called or nadis right those little center points that are within us we have thousands of energy centers but the ones in our mouth are extremely stimulating and they connect to the sound waves and the sound currents and the vibrations and the the powerful energy or the powerful flow of energy that moves to, to our brain. So when we chant, when we sing, we are stimulating those energy centers in our mouth. All right, so that was just a quick little thought around sound and mantras. So Ram, Ram, Ram. So let's just say that a couple of times. Ram, 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 Ram. Ram. Ram, 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 Ram. And as you chant the mantra Ram, it's simply a sound current. I want you to even kind of notice where you're feeling that vibration. It's really fascinating. Ram, 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 Ram. Ram, take another deep breath in. Exhale, empty out. Just let yourself settle into a place of stillness as your eyes close. If they're not already, feeling that sound vibration of Ram, feeling that heat that you cultivated through your breath of fire. And I just want you to remember the power of who you are. So if it helps, repeat that mantra, I am a powerful being to yourself. And as you repeat that mantra, as you think about your power and your strength, I want you to think about one aspect of your life where you need to place a little more confidence. You need to place a little more confident action, confident thoughts. Maybe it's the way that you share who you are. Maybe it's the ability to show up. 
Maybe it's your work and your career. Maybe you have a little more confidence in your relationships, like it could be anything. Maybe it's just a simple aspect of having this deep knowing of your wisdom and purpose and stepping out confidently as you. I am a powerful being. I am a powerful being. I am a powerful being. Take another breath in. Hold your breath and then place your hands back over your solar plexus, right above your navel. Keep holding the breath if you can, just a few more seconds. And then exhale, empty out. And whenever you're ready, slowly open those eyes. Yeah, so there you have it guys. Um, just a little reading around the chakras. I talk about the chakras and the importance of them in the introduction of my book. And then as I move through the book, I reference the chakras. And for those of you <clears throat> that are just jumping on, the chakra that we've worked on today was the Manipura chakra. Having a little more self-confidence and feeling that sense of power that, that moves and vibrates through you. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a, be a beautiful, blessed Sunday.